so um this is the flyer um i did for a friend of mine called frank Boachi Uredu. i shot the picture myself and I, in fact i did everything yeah i did everything so i'm going to do a breakdown uh how i did this flyer so uh first of all let me start from here so uh, I, I started with a gradient yeah I wanted to start with a gradient yeah so um, I wanted to start with a gradient I reversed it like this then later I stopped and then choose yeah i chose a solid color so i used this solid color let me send you the color code yeah that is the color code yeah zero 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 two two nine yeah and then i added uh let me say um it's it's going to be like a gradient yeah but i'm creating it myself not using the gradient fill uh, adjustment yeah i won't be using that one yeah so i picked a blue color uh, but i started off with this and then i went to this part yeah so i used my brush to and clicked once in the center then after clicking it uh, I opened it up a bit yeah so th there is the gradient I'm getting now yeah that is the gradient I'm getting now and then I added my milk background yeah it's it's some kind of milky wavy something yeah so I changed the blending option to multiply yeah and then i left the opacity at 100 percent so that is my blending mode that is the multiply and then i added this seamless pattern yeah i added this seamless pattern yeah so you see how the feel is coming out yeah it, it looks so nice and then uh i added a, a black gradient here and later i stopped yeah so let me delete it yeah let me delete it and then i didn't use this because a lot of ideas were coming to my mind yeah then um I think I didn't use this one too. This one too is a uh, is, is a seamless pattern. Yeah. So I I added a gradient fill here. Yeah. But then I used the layer. I created a new layer, and then I came to gradient two. Yeah. I came to gradient two, and then. I used the gradient fill and filled it up yeah and then I added a different color to it so um, th there is a pink a pink uh, a pink color yeah so I'm blending the pink with the blue you see like pink and blue at times uh, this this dark pink something like that it, it really works with the blue yeah so that was the idea I had in mind yeah and then um i added uh frank boachi already that is his name yeah after typing it uh i i added emotion blur to it and then took it up there and then i reduced the opacity to 20 percent and then this vector to Why is my machine fucking up? 
yeah this vector to i reduce the opacity to 50 percent and i maintained these ones at 100 percent yeah so Yeah, so that is for this one and then uh, I added the school's logo in the background you see like it's it's blending very nice in the background so uh, I just changed the blending mode to soft light and reduced the opacity to 10% and it's it's blending so nice yeah and then uh, I wanted to add this picture there but then I stopped because I saw it to be messing up in the background so I stopped let me delete it and then I added yeah I added this flare there then uh, I chose this yellow color yeah that is the hex code or color code and then I changed the blending option or the blending mode to color dodge yeah and then it gave me this nice flare over here yeah so that was what i did with the background yeah and then this is the main text this is the main text frank watch your read grassack kenya city treasure hopeful 2022 yeah so for for this one uh, i used montserrat font and then it was at semi bold and then this one too i use montserrat extra bold i think my my main my main font was montserrat i only changed the frank Boache to uh i think acrobat yeah so uh let me see yeah acrobat and then uh i did a little uh i i don't know whether to call it 3d or something yeah but then it's it's also acting as a shadow so i duplicated the frank watch already uh, layer and then i i i pushed it downwards and changed the color to blue then i reduce the opacity so if if i should switch this off this is how it is and then this is what it gives when it's on so that is all that i did with the main text and then i added financial radio so this financial radio i use acrobat font and then i added tried and tested uh, sorry tried tested and trusted yeah so that one to use us a day then let me see yeah so i added the transparency accountability and the true representation of graduate students and then i brought this ellipse yeah just to just, just to just to give in uh, something to the design i mean uh, to separate the transparency that uh, sorry transparency that part from the financial radio and then i brought in this uh already then i used autograph um this 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 way of designing um i think uh it's, it's nice yeah it, it helps to fill up some spaces in the in the flyer yeah it helps to fill up some spaces in the flyer and then uh this this one too is the logo that is the logo we used here so Kwame Koma university of science and technology graduate students association of ghana and then uh, i think this one yeah that is the king university logo and then this one is the graduate students logo yeah, so it wasn't like this uh they all came with a background then i removed it you can check other videos on how to remove uh, backgrounds uh, how to separate 
subjects from background here yeah. so that is our logo so you could see that um i've aligned uh, the text all the text to the right all because i wanted to fill this uh, this space with with the picture of frank watch you read so uh, that is all about how i did the flyer yeah it's it's very simple yeah very very simple so you can check it out bye bye